So Star Wars Outlaws is looking like it'll have so much for us to explore and see around the galaxy. The entirety of the map combined is said to be bigger than the likes of Assassin's Creed Odyssey's map, which is pretty damn enormous. And so today I wanted to run you guys through everything you need to know on that front, covering all of the planets we know so far in Star Wars Outlaws and what you can expect to see from all of them. Now, the first planet that we are going to be covering is known as Toshara, and this seems like it is going to be essentially the hub world of Star Wars Outlaws. Now, for those who didn't know this planet has been made from the ground up for Star Wars Outlaws that has never been seen before or even mentioned in the Star Wars universe. So this is an entirely new planet, pretty similar to Kobo, for example, from Jedi Survivor, which was almost the hub world for that game where they did make it from the ground up for Jedi Survivor. And that's a pretty good comparison to what this planet is going to be in Star Wars Outlaws. Now, Ubisoft themselves have described the planet as a dangerous savanna moon shaped by strong winds and a hotbed for crime and and corruption so that is confirmation right there that this is technically not even a planet it is actually a moon and i've got to say that it does look very promising from all of the stuff we have seen of it so far what we know about toshara is that it does have two major locations in terms of like towns or cities those being jaunter's hope as well as miragana now jaunter's hope is where we've seen k enter in the initial gameplay from about june last year this was pretty much the first actual location that we saw in any gameplay for this game it does look like a much smaller sediment where there's not going to be a heap of stuff to do but it does seem like it'll be a pretty important location on this planet we can see that there is a landing pad for our ship the trailblazer we can see that there's also a cantina and i'm sure there is plenty more to this little town that we obviously haven't seen just yet now outside of jaunter's hope we can also see that miragana is the capital of this planet and this is actually a city that's embedded into the underbelly of this huge like mushroom shaped mountain area while also having a pretty large outer section as well this seems to to be what will be most likely the main location of the entire game. No doubt a lot of focus in this game will be on Toshara because obviously they have made this from the ground up and considering this is probably going to be the main planet in the game I dare say Miragana is going to be pretty much the main location that we visit throughout the story. Now, outside of those two locations, there is obviously plenty more to the planet as well. It is a pretty open looking map. So it looks like there is gonna be a lot of stuff for us to explore. There's big open fields. There's a lot of creatures around the place. There's no doubt gonna be little like bandit camps and stuff like that. So I'm very keen to see Toshara. This is obviously, like I said, a planet that we haven't seen before. And I am very excited to go and explore this planet as much as I possibly can. Now, the next planet that I've got here is Tatooine. And I don't really need to say too much about Tatooine if you guys have even seen any Star Wars you will know where Tatooine is and realistically Tatooine is a perfect planet for this game there is lots of scum and villainy which we see throughout all of the movies plus this is where obviously the hot cartel are located who are obviously big players in Star Wars Outlaws now it looks like we are going to be able to visit the major locations that we know of on Tatooine those mostly being Mos Eisley we'll also no doubt be able to visit Jabba's palace and with that comes obviously the Jundlin way as well plus there is hopefully more locations for us to visit too we don't really know just yet but hopefully some places like Mos Espa are available to visit as well throughout the planet as well we can also see crate dragons at random so if you're just out there on your speeder there is a chance that you will just encounter crate dragons which is going to be pretty awesome there's also confirmed to be multiple different sarlacc pits throughout the planet which are obviously going to be pretty dangerous as well and so it does seem like there is going to be plenty to do on Tatooine and hopefully this is one of the main planets in the game as although there there is that running joke that Tatooine kind of shows up too much in Star Wars. In my opinion, Tatooine is the main planet in Star Wars and it's always fun in my opinion to experience any new content on Tatooine especially when it's a game that we can actually go around and explore it ourselves. Being able to just walk around Mos Eisley or hopefully like I said Mos Espa is going to be so awesome as we've not really had that in High Fidelity if you don't count the Battlefront games. Obviously there was Mos Eisley maps in those games but it's a little bit different when they're multiplayer you're kind of distracted by objectives and stuff like that. It's going to be awesome to just be able to walk around as Kay and Nyx and just sort of experience what Mos Eisley is like. For me, that is one of my biggest draws to this game. Now, there's obviously going to be plenty of other places too. Like I said, with Toshara, there's going to be plenty of different little bandit camps and stuff on Tatooine. We've even seen that in some of the gameplay too. So it does seem like Tatooine is going to have plenty for us to explore. Now, before we go any further, if you guys are new to the channel and you are interested in more Star Wars Outlaws content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. There is plenty more content on the way, so make sure you don't miss out. Now, next on the list, we have a 
Kiva, which is a jungle planet. And this has only been mentioned in Star Wars in a few novels. So we've actually never ever seen Akiva before until this game. Akiva first appeared in the Aftermath trilogy, which takes place pretty much directly after the events of the original trilogy. It is a canon novel series. And in the Aftermath trilogy, Akiva was heavily occupied by Imperial forces. So it is no doubt going to be pretty much the same in Star Wars Outlaws, considering how close those time periods are, it's most likely going to be the most heavily Imperial occupied planet in this entire game. Like I said, Akiva is a jungle planet, so it is going to be very exciting to have a bit of a change up because even though, like I said, with Tatooine, I love that planet, but it is a kind of boring and bland planet at the end of the day. And it's going to be nice to have something that is set in the jungle, a little bit more colorful and vibrant, which I am definitely excited to see. Now, a fun fact about Akiva is that during the Clone Wars, the Separatists actually built a large droid factory beneath the planet's surface, not all that different from the one on Geonosis, albeit not quite as big. And so it would be awesome if we can actually see that in game, seeing the remnants of an old droid factory, even having that as part of the main path of the story would be pretty awesome as well. But at this point, that is just me speculating as far as I know that has not been mentioned anywhere by anyone at Ubisoft and so take that with a grain of salt I would love to see that separatist factory but there is no confirmation of that just yet. Now next on the list we have Kajimi and Kajimi is the planet that we have seen in The Rise of Skywalker the sort of mountainous icy planet which obviously had a lot of crime going on at that point too albeit that was obviously set a long time after the events of this game. Now the Ashiga clan who is a new crime syndicate created specifically for this game they are actually based on Kajimi and so it is most likely going to be very much occupied by that Ashiga clan and probably a little bit by the Empire as well. I'm going to assume that the Empire is pretty much going to be on every planet in this game because at this point in the story they were pretty much at the peak of their power and I dare say they're going to be having some sort of presence on every single planet. Now from what we've seen of Kajimi both in the movie as well as in the gameplay they've shown for this game it does seem like a very close quarters urban sort of feel with plenty of hidden dark alleyways and rooftop sections and and it is going to be a really nice change of pace compared to some of the more like open world type of planets, such as, like I said, Toshara and Tatooine that are obviously a lot more open and almost a little bit barren. So I dare say Kajimi is going to be a very fun place to be, although it will most likely be a pretty small planet compared to those other planets in the game. I feel like this is going to be pretty similar in a way to Coruscant in Jedi Survivor, where it was really only like a small section of Coruscant that we could actually go and visit. I dare say when it comes to Kajimi, we will most likely only be able to go to the same area that we saw in Rise of Skywalker, which is called Kajimi City. And so I'm sure there will be plenty of stuff to do here and plenty of little hidden areas throughout little alleyways and stuff like that. But I dare say this is going to be a pretty small location in the grand scheme of things. Now, last but not least, we also have Cantonica, which is another sequel planet that we saw in The Last Jedi. Cantonica, for those who don't know, is where Canto Bight is located, which is essentially that like casino city full of rich people looking to have a good time that Finn and Rose visited in The Last Jedi. Now, obviously a big casino type of location makes perfect sense for this game. That'll most likely be the main draw of this planet. There's probably a good chance we can play a lot of Sabacc here and stuff like that. We can probably rob a lot of people because obviously a lot of them are going to be rich. So I dare say that the actual casino area of this planet is going to be the main draw, but hopefully Hopefully there is a little bit more to it as well. Slero, who is essentially the main antagonist in this game, he is based on Cantonica and it seems like one of the key points of the game is going to have something to do with his crime syndicate, the Zerek Besh, and they're pretty much their home base on Cantonica. So I'm not too sure if that will actually be in Canto Bight or if their base is going to be set in a different location that we can travel to. But if it is set in Canto Bight, similar to what I said about Kajimi, it's probably going to be a pretty small location in the grand scheme of things. Cantonica is obviously a very sort of basic urban type of biome rather than a jungle or a desert like many of the other planets. So again, it's going to be a nice change of pace to come here and have a bit of a different experience to the likes of Tatooine and Toshara. And in my opinion, it does seem like they have a pretty good balance of planets that we know of so far. Now, those are the five planets that are confirmed so far in Star Wars Outlaws. I'm not 100% sure if these are confirmed to be the only planets in the game. They are the only ones they've talked about, but there is a chance there is maybe some extra planets that they're kind of keeping a secret for now. I'm fairly confident these will be the only five, but that being said, when we look at games like Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor, in those games and in the lead up to those games, they mentioned a lot of planets too, but then when we actually played, there were more planets than they led us to believe. So 
Although I would still be happy if these are the only five planets, they all look pretty awesome to me personally, but it would be also pretty cool to see a few more planets thrown in here. But unfortunately, we won't really know that until the game actually launches. So we are going to have to wait and see. But for now, these are definitely some promising planets that I cannot wait to explore in Star Wars Outlaws. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which planet you are most excited to explore. For me, it definitely has to be Tatooine, but I'm also very keen to see Toshara as that is an entirely new planet. It. So leave your thoughts down below. But with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. You guys have a great day and may the force be with you always.